So we're going to work with this triangle right here. We're going to find the orthocenter, which is where the three altitudes intersect, and that coordinate is going to be our orthocenter. So what you're doing when you're finding the orthocenter is you're finding the altitude of the triangle, and you want to find where those three altitudes intersect. So the altitude is the perpendicular distance from the vertex to the opposite side. Now it doesn't necessarily you know, bisect the opposite side, it's just the the height of the triangle. It's like a triangle is like a mountain. If you climb the mountain, somebody says, how high above the ground are you? You always want to measure the perpendicular distance down. So for example, here, if I wanted to find the altitude, let's say from this vertex, I would have to make a perpendicular like that to the other side. And same thing over here, I'd have to make an altitude perpendicular distance to the other side where those three altitudes cross. That's going to be the orthocenter. Now, you don't have to find all three. If you just find two of them, they're going to, where they cross, that's going to be the common point of intersection called the point of concurrency, and we call that the orthocenter. So let's jump into this example here now. So what I need to do is I need to find the slope of one of the sides of the triangle because what we're going to do is we're going to find the opposite reciprocal slope. That's going to be the uh, perpendicular slope. So what we're going to do here, this point is uh, the point 2, 5. The slope from 2, 5 to 5, 2, remember your slope formula, it's uh, y2 minus y1, so 2 minus 5 over x2 minus x1, that's 5 minus 2. So you can see we're getting negative 3 over positive 3, which is negative 1. Now if we want to find the perpendicular slope, we just have to take the slope, flip it over, and make it the opposite. So that would make this a positive 1. So that's the slope of this line right here. We'll just write slope of, of uh, negative one, but this is gonna be a positive one, which is gonna be the perpendicular slope. We know that the line is gonna go through the point zero one, so if we were to draw this line here, you can see that the y-intercept is gonna be one and it's gonna have a slope of one, so our equation is y equals one x plus one. So that's gonna look something like, let's see, uh, up one over one, up one over one, up one over one, et cetera. So it's going to look something like that. My diagram is not perfect, uh, but that's the basic idea there. Now, let's go ahead and find the altitude from this point to this opposite side here. So we want to find the slope of this line. So I'm going to do y2 minus y1, which is 2 minus 1, and x2 minus x1, which is going to give us 5 minus 0. So that gives us 1 fifth. Now, the perpendicular slope is going to be negative 5, because I'm flipping that over and making it the opposite sign. And here you can see it's going through the point 2, 5. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the point slope form, y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1. We know that the slope is negative 5. It goes through the point 2, 5, so x minus 2, y minus 5. And we can simplify this a little bit by distributing the negative 5. That's going to give us uh, y minus 5 equals negative 5x uh, plus 10 plus 10. And if I add 5 to both sides, we get negative 5x plus 15. Okay, so now you can see we've got uh, two equations here, y equals 1x plus 1 and y equals negative 5x plus 15. We just have to find the point of intersection of these two lines. So what we need to do here is we need to do a substitution. y equals 1x plus 1. I'm going to put that in place of y here. So we have 1x plus 1 equals negative 5x plus 15. If I add 5x to both sides, that gives us 6x. And if I subtract 1 from both sides, uh, that gives us uh, 14. And if I divide by 6, x equals 14 6, which equals 7 thirds if you reduce. Now, if I take the 7 thirds and I put it back into either one of these equations, I'll just put it into this one here. We have 7 thirds plus 1, which 1 is really like 3 over 3. So that's going to be 10 thirds. So that means the y coordinate is 10 thirds. So our point of intersection is 7 thirds comma 10 thirds. And let's just double check here. So here we said this had a slope of negative 5. So we're going down 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 over 1. So this line should look something like that, okay? And so it looks like they should be crossing right there. 7 thirds is like 2 and 1 third, so 2 and 1 third. 10 thirds is like 3 and a third. That's 1, 2, 3 and a third. Yep, looks like it matches pretty closely, so my diagram is pretty good here. So that's, again, how you find the orthocenter algebraically 